Hey gang, today we're going to do Robert John's 1979 hit, Sad Eyes. We're going to do the solo to it. It's a really cool melodic solo. Now I know what you're thinking, that's soft rock or that's wimp rock. I'm not going to play that. I'm here to tell you it's a great solo to learn because it's very melodic. And every once in a while you're called upon to do a melodic improvisation. You can have this one under your belt. It's a great one to have. You can take some of the ideas. In fact, I have a little surprise for you. At the end of the video, I'm going to improv to those same chord changes. You can see how I do. All right. First things first, though, we're going to do the demo, and then we'll do the upfront lesson, and that'll be it. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. We'll see you in just a second with the demo and then the lesson. All right, gang. Well, before we get going, there's a little point of interest about this song. In 1979, this song actually displaced My Sharona as the number one song, and both of those songs helped to displace disco. It was part of the disco backlash that brought rock back into the pop charts for a while. So soft rock or not, uh, you've got that to like it. Maybe that'll help you like this song a little bit more if you don't already dig it a bit. Okay. All right, so first things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. Now, let me talk about what we're going to cover in this lesson. Number one, we're going to cover, I'm going to do a slow-mo demo of the whole, whole solo. Then for a, a short time, I will cover the chords and the theory. There's not too much, so that'll be a very short section. And then we will break it down line by line after that. Okay, so first, the slow-mo demo. Now I'm going to start up here on the 6th string, 17th fret. We're going to do a little glissando coming down all the way to the 3rd fret of the 6th of the, uh, string. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk a little bit about the chords. So the chords, they start out on this either a G sus, depending on how you look at it, or an F with a G bass. I kind of like that F with a G bass. So, oops, let me turn down the distortion for the chord. Then it goes to a C. This is all in the key of C, so the C is kind of the tonic. And this is where it starts, you, you know, you're doing that little down, 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 that part right there, and then it starts with a C on the. Okay, so we're going to start with that C. D minor. F. C. G sus. And then again, it'll do the whole thing again. C. D minor. F. To C. And then to that G sus to end it. 
And I actually really love the F with the G bass on that. Right, and then it goes back to sad eyes, that part right there. The, uh, these are all in the key of C, so the C, that's an obviously in the key of C. The D minor, that's a chord in the key of C. F, that's a chord in the key of C. And G is a, key, uh, is a chord in the key of C. So all of this is in the key of C major. So most of this solo is in C major pentatonic. Okay, simple as that. All right, so let's go with the uh, the little intro over the uh, over the G sus chord. Okay, so the first part is basically over that um, and uh, over that chord right there, that G sus. That's all it is right there. Okay, so that's the first line. So we're going to start on the sixth string. We're going to go from three to five, and then on the fifth string, we're going to go three to five, slide it up to seven right away, and then a little walk up right here, five, seven. Okay, so here we'll go with the first line that really starts the, the whole thing on the C. It starts on that C. Okay, very cool. Very simple, simple, simple line, right? Here's the C major pentatonic that we're working out of. Okay, I'll start from the uh, from the top right here. There's the C, or there's the C right there. And then you can carry it down. So the first line is going to start out on that C. Whole step bend and hold that for quite a while. You can give it some vibrato to help sustain it if you want. And then you're going to do a quick pull down, pull off, and back up. And then hitting that, that note on the seventh there, which is a D, we're going to bend that up a whole step to the third, which is an E. And you're going to go up to the E, back down to the D a few times, right? So we're going to do a full step bend three times with one pick stroke. All right, so that's the first line. Here's the second line. So you can do this in a number of different places. I chose to do it up here because I find the second string easiest to bend, second and third string easiest to bend, so that's why I chose to do it up here. So we're going to slide up to the 14th fret on the third string, and then play 13 and 15 on the second string. And then without picking again, we're going to bend it up and down twice. Okay, like that. So you want to get some nice sustain on your guitar, and uh, playing it slowly is tough to do that, right? So uh, if you need to give it a different pick, another pick stroke, go ahead, and nobody will care. All right. And then to find, finally end that out, the first half of the solo, we're just going to bend that up on the first, on the second string, fifteenth, a whole step, bring it down slowly, and then play the thirteenth to end it, which is a C note, right? Okay, now there's the same sort of lead up before we get into the second verse, so we're going to do the same. Okay, so the same thing over that G sus chord. Okay, then on the second time around, the next line is going to be this. That's a really nice line. It's a, it's a fairly long line, but it's also per, fairly simple. So it starts out on the third string, fifth fret, which is a C on the G string there. And we're going to start out very similar, but instead of the bends this time, we're going to slide up. And then 
So notice we're playing off this C. This is all C major pentatonic stuff. Okay, and then on the tenth, we're going to bend that up a whole step, bring it down, and pull it off to the C. And then finally, do that again. All right, so here's the whole song super slow, or the whole line super slow mo. Here's the last line, or the penultimate line, the second to last line. Okay, so that's again very similar to what we did before. We're going to slide up on the G string, or on the third string, up to the 14th. Okay, and then we're going to play 13, 15, 13. Then we're going to go to the fifth string and play the 15th whole step bend. Play the 15, 13. And then on the second string, 15, we're going to play something similar to what we did in the beginning. We're going to hit it, bend it up a whole step, down, up, down, up, down. We do that three times, okay? so. Now, you'll see when I was demoing it right now, slow-mo, I hit it every time. But when you play it fast, it's okay to just do that. If you have enough sustain on your guitar, you can do it with one pick stroke like you did in the beginning. But um, right now, basically just to demonstrate it, I'm going to play the 15th and bend it up three times, and I'll pick it each time just so you get the cadence right. Ending up on that 13th, okay? And here's the last line. It's just going back to the vocals now. Okay, nice little bluesy line without being too crazy. You are going to, on the third string, slide from 12 to 14, then play 12. And then we're going to um, do a little quick slide from on the fourth string from 13 to 12. To, to that and then end up on the 10, which is a C, okay? With, that's a C note. So we're going from C to, to shining C. All right, so there you go. And one other thing on this one, here, here's a good example of a player who will, if you listen to the record, the guy clearly knows how to play. He's not just playing or which would not sound bluesy. He's sliding it up and then playing a nice little slur here. Anyway, I kind of like that little touch that he puts on there. Okay, gang, well, there you go. The solo to Sad Eyes, Robert Jine's 1979 hit. Went to number one right after My Sharona. Pretty cool. And uh, it's got a nice solo in it. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I love playing this kind of stuff. I actually do. So, hope you enjoyed it. All right, we'll see you on down the road. Thank mm -hmm. you.